Well, I know we are all missing live sports right about now, so let's take a look back at the last time a live sporting event was held here in central New York. Good evening. I'm Matt Hosworth coming to you live from inside my home tonight. Happy Mother's Day as well to all the moms out there. Now, tomorrow will mark two months since the Colgate men's basketball team hosted the Patriot League championship game. You can make the argument, should it have been played? Well, head coach Matt Langle has an opinion on that. It feels like yesterday when live sporting events were part of our daily lives. Or depending on who you ask, it may feel like an eternity. In so many ways, Matt, it seems like it's gone, you know, by in the, in the blink of an eye. That, that seems like it was yesterday because, you know, when, when it comes to work and our profession, um, you know, there, we haven't been able to, to move on beyond that in, in a lot of ways. But in some ways, it seems like an eternity, obviously. It was the Patriot League championship game. <laughs> Wednesday on the 11th of March from Hamilton, New York. The last time I myself covered a live game before the coronavirus invaded our country. And nothing has been the same since. Now, I still remember like it was yesterday, hauling all of my equipment into the Reed Athletic Center behind me, preparing to go live for our 6 o'clock show. Welcome to Colgate University. Now joined alongside the head coach himself, Matt Langle. And coach, I guess, tell me. Looking back on it now, was it worth it? Well, I mean, obviously, in hindsight, knowing what we know now, no, I don't think so. I mean, there were a number of people, um, you know, at that game who were infected uh, after, you know, after the fact got diagnosed and tested positive for COVID. Whether it was spread at that game or not, I, I don't know. You know, unfortunately, I, I do know of two individuals were at that game who, um, you know, passed away from complications specific to COVID. Again, was it because of, of that? I don't know. Colgate men's basketball coach Matt Langle admits the game should not have even happened. But when you are in uncharted territory, what actually is the right thing to do? You know, it's certainly a, a life lesson, I think, for us all. And I, I think that, you know, it'll probably be, you know, in our lifetime, in our generations, it'll, it, it, I think it'll affect a, a lot of things moving forward. Boston University won the game, spoiling a huge stage for Colgate in front of a national television audience. But as we all know, none of it mattered because we didn't know what we know now. I am really proud of Colgate, um, our athletic administration. You know, with the information that we had at that time, uh, I think it's it's hugely different, obviously, than the what the information that we have now. So, um, you know, I think that you know they were monitoring it very closely. There were many discussions about what the right thing to do was. <laughs> Knowing that hindsight is 2020, of course, we could sit here forever and discuss why that game on March 11th should not have been played. But consider the fact that the most educated opinion regarding this entire situation arrived courtesy of a 10-year-old boy. The little chance I did have to reflect, I said I was teaching fourth grade and one day my, my son was in here and he was just kind of staring at the wall. I was trying to go over some math problems with him. And I said, oh, man, he's not paying attention to me. He's tuning me out. He said, you know, I was just thinking about that game, Dad. It's probably good that we lost. And, and I said, how, how is it good that we lost? I mean, he lives and dies with it. He goes on the road. And I said, how is it good that we lost? He says, well, if we would have won, we would have stormed the court. All 2,000 people would have stormed the court, and we would have been celebrating all night long, and even more people would have gotten sick. So... You know, with that, if a 10-year-old can look at it like that, Matt, then I think that, you know, we'll, we can reflect and say, you know, things happen for a reason. 